Hey guys, welcome back to Flower, Sun, and Rain. It's TJ Gamer Girl, signing up. So, last episode, we started the game and met our main character, Sumio Mondo, who's basically been asked by Ido to look for a terrorist on. Lost Pass. Wh why he didn't call the proper authorities, I will never know. But, anyway. Whoops. Okay, I fixed the problem. <laughs> uh, I'm a professional. Anyway, we are technically on day one, so we are just, we are essentially just starting our search for the terrorist. Again, probably should have called the proper authorities, but whatever, I'm not going to judge. I mean, I technically am, but... Lost and found list. I have to leave it here, huh? Oh well. I'll just take notes. What the fuck am I looking at? Is that lunatics? Because the first one is Lost Pass. Uh Okay, one is a picture, two is cards, and three is slippers? Why slippers? Um hmm. Well three looks like twenty three fifty four. What time is it? Twenty three fifty four, so we're going on military time. 24 hours, 23.54. It's close to midnight. Okay, let me write all this down so I... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Number one. Picture. And the... The question... The question mark is lunatics. What does that equal in terms of numbers? I mean... Uh... Okay. We have some numbers. Because of... Lost Pass, showing what numbers they equal. So... The L would be zero. L... O... S... P... A. The A would be six. And the S would be... No, that doesn't make sense, because 4 shows up twice with L-O. Why is O also 4? But then the other... But the, uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm putting it in, just to be safe. Okay, and then two cards. K plus K. K plus K plus K. I'm, I need to... 
this should hopefully help. Maybe there'll be a clue when I find the cards. K plus K plus K plus K plus A equals 53. And then K plus Q K plus Q plus K plus J equals 49. And K plus K plus Q plus J plus A. That's what we need to figure out with that one. And three slippers in twenty three fifty four, it looks like, which would be eleven fifty four because twenty four hours that's midnight. Eleven fifty four. Okay! I hope that works! Aha! I have solved the mystery in the, of the list in the parking lot. If I find the owner's tickets, then, I, then I'll give it to Ida. But why? Was there, was there a list there? Who knows? Wait, painting? Is there a painting in here? There. Yeah, that's not it. This. I'm getting that DS feeling. Wait, I have I I haven't even figured it out yet. Wait. Um. Crap. Please tell me there will be clues. anyone of my low intellect supposed to figure this shit out. Doesn't help that I suck with anything math related. Is that in this entire game? Take it to the front desk. Okay. Do we have slippers? We got a telephone. We got a ton of stuff. <sighs> I might enjoy this game only for its story rather than its puzzles because mostly because ah, at least like advanced stuff. Ooh. 
We found a bath. And the toilet. Hey, can we well, let's let's Travis this. Save it by going on the shit. <laughs> I'm not joking. I've I played a little bit of uh, No More Heroes. I have the I have one and two on Switch, and I played a little bit of it just to try and get an idea of what kind of why is the the why is the door locked? Huh? What's going on here? It's locked. What's the meaning of this? Right, it's complaint time. Complaint for the manager. Hey, my door is locked. Can you explain that shit? I was gonna say if that door was locked, I would have been. Huh? What now? This ain't our room. Something's not right here. Yeah, no shit. This ain't our room. I heard, I heard a strange voice. I've got to get out of here. Yes. Yes, we do. Why is there a camera here? Is this where snuff films are made? Nope. 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 Not touching that with a ten feet pole. With a ten feet pole? With a ten foot... Do I have to? I have to. Okay. Hi? Mr. Mondo, that room is cursed. Well, for, for fuck's sake, Ida, why did you put me in here? <sighs> Definitely gonna make a complaint. I can see the evil spirit. Who are you? Welcome, Mr. Mondo, to the Hotel Flower, Sun, and Rain. I am a maid here. My name is Sue. The evil is swirling. Was I with you? Miss Sister Phantom. Miss Sister Phantom? Oh, okay. Okay, Sister Phantom. Sure, let's go with that. She's a spiritual correspondent. I'm here to save you, Mondo. Sorry, do I know you? We have to move fast, or the evil spirit will possess you. Wouldn't this suddenly become a horror game? You know, now that I think about it, I would love, just absolutely love to see a survival horror game from Suda. I, I feel like that would be awesome. Anyway. I feel it. A, ter a terrible desire to do wrong. Oh my. Mondo's consciousness is fading. Oh, wait just a minute, lady. Tell me what's going on here. That room is a sealed space. Sealed space? The manager must have put you in there by mistake. Mondo, you're very lucky. That sister was staying at the- The sister here was staying at the hotel. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Shh. Leave this to me. Leave this to her and you'll be fine. She just said leave this to her. You don't need to repeat. Sure, just do something about this. I'm in a hurry over here. Sister, please help him. Very well. Now, sister. Mm. What's happening? Quiet. Sister is concentrating. Okay. Okay. She's focusing. It's going well. It's working. The demon is among us. Silence. You gotta be kidding me. Let me out. 
right now that door is locked. I'm closed in. Oh boy! Um. I'm getting the DS feeling. What? What's here? Well, we'll know for sure when we... Two. There's just two things. Must be the cards. Hmm. Okay, so three K three kings and an ace equals fifty three. Uh yeah, it says uh two on the top. It's the cards. Two kings, a queen, and a jack equal forty nine. So what do you like that that's that, I think that's a royal flush, like king, queen, jack, and ace. Wait, no, there's supposed to be a 10 in there, isn't there? It looks like it's here for a reason. Is it related to the puzzle of this room? Puzzle of this room. I can examine the camera. It's an old camera. It's pointed at the chair. So you want to snap that seat, do you? sister go? Mr. Mondo, I have some bad news. Sister has fled. Huh? She took off? Yes, she left a moment ago. She says she doesn't want anything to do with this. So she chickened out. And that's right, you're not even denying it. Haven't told me to leave this to her. Don't worry, Mr. Mondo. I shall take on the burden that she has cast aside. You. I have my own powers. Right. I will save you, Mr. Mondo, in place of sister. Thanks for giving it a try, I guess. But wanna be hard on you? It will be tougher on you, Mr. Mondo. Quite the professional to cut out in the middle of the job. So what shall we do? Well, there's a chair and a camera placed in this room. Do you think they mean anything? A chair and a camera? They're placed in what seems to be a sort of a puzzle of some sort. It sounds like something I've seen before. Where was it? Hmm. I've got it? I think... Yeah? I'm tired. That's just great. Rare German camera. Wonder if it still works.
Amos, Amos make of Italian chair. I guess it's a Bellini. And how does that help? Ugh. Hey, Sue, I need help. Hey? Sue, you there? Don't tell me she's run off too. Dead! Don't do that! What happened? I just dozed off for a minute. You were sleeping? Bad habit of mine. What are you, narcoleptic? Anyway, I remembered. I can hardly contain myself. The manager told me about this. That a harmless ghost lives in the hotel. Okay, if it's harmless, why the hell was it called a demon? Thinking about it now, strange things do happen often. Like what? From what I remember, toilet water overflowing could just be a clog. Someone drying on a flower vase could just be a kid. And my skirt getting flipped up, that's a pervert. Oh, and a hole appeared in the manager's pants. That's... What side? And in his underwear, too. And again, that's a pervert. I'm not sure if that's related. Ew! What happened? I just remembered something. What, a coup? No, that underwear. Thanks for that mental image. So this ghost is just a prankster. I remember something else. Boxers or briefs. No, the camera and chair! It reminds me of a picture I saw. Where? In the guidebook. Mr. Mondo, please check your guidebook. The guidebook? It's a free booklet, available at the front desk. The manager gave me one. I'm sure it'll help you. Right, the guidebook. Oh no. I put it inside Catherine. Catherine? Is someone in there with you? She's my partner. And she has the guidebook. I put it inside her. Ew. What? You pervert? Don't get excited now. You're not- That's not helping! Mondo! You've really got to explain exactly what Catherine is. You're going to get this every time otherwise. The point is, I can't read the guidebook without booting up Catherine. And she won't open unless there's a job to do. I see. I think. Ah, are you okay? Catherine's reacting. Now I can open her and read the guidebook. I guess that's good news. Please read it right away. You'll be pleased to hear that in this version of our game, it's now possible to view the guidebook whenever you like. Isn't that nice? Were you not able to in the original PS2 version? Sue, who are you talking? Who are you talking to? The same people you were talking, the same person you were talking to at the beginning of the game, explaining all this shit. <laughs> If, if, if you can break the fourth wall, so can she. Our very important customer. I'm not sure what you mean. Anyway, I'll take a look. Mr. Mondo, if you need any more help, please peer into here again. You never know. You may catch a glimpse of something very special. Really? What, like TNA? No, thank you. Not in the mood right now. No, not really. Oh boy, this better work. Okay, a picture. Y'all want to see the guidebook? 49 friggin' pages. Camera. 
Portrait in one of the suites in Flower, Sun, and Rain. Chapman often used his partner. That might be it. Uh, okay, this might be. Sorry about that. This might be important. Uh, yeah, so 400. Exposure 5.6 750th and one second. Need to locate the hints in the guidebook and solve this puzzle. You know, my friend wants me, wanted me to say that every time it's, it's like, called it like Seer of the Moon. I'm so tempted to just do in the name of the moon, I punish you. And it's all numbers, so if we get rid of the letters, maybe the and the dot as well. It's probably one of the easier puzzles I've done so far. And I'm still only on chapter one. That's not a good sign, is it? Five, six, seven, five. I did it! The room's returned to normal. Finally, I can go to the front desk. <sighs> Still wondering where the slippers are. Hey, Sue. I'm pleased to see you safe and well. Nice to meet you face to face, Mr. Bondo. I'm Sue. Sue, thanks. You really helped me out back there. I will be responsible for cleaning your room, Mr. Bondo. I will do my very best to ensure your comfort. I hope you will enjoy your stay with us. Thanks, me too. But... What was the deal with the camera and chair then? Ah, oh, well... Allow me to explain. Sister, didn't you run away? Silence! Sue, just what did you tell him? Uh, sorry. Did you really think I would just flee? Me, the world's best spiritual medium. Don't get your turban in a bunch. I'm not angry. I'm very sorry. Rumors and gossip become conduits for evil intentions. The twisted hearts of people can sometimes manifest as evil spirits. The hearts of ugly, evil people give birth to terrible evil. You just called them evil. Of course they would give birth to evil. Oh my god. Are you sure you're a medium? Or are you just stupid? and create a twisted connection between them. That is how evil spirits are spawned. Just... What does that all mean? Hell if I know. Huh? Huh? Even I don't really know. You don't know what. 
the mystery of the sealed space. I hear that it was rifted, refitted a number of years ago. Refitted it was, perhaps. But with Monno's arrival, the sealed space appeared again. So it is related to me? Yes, very much so. Evil spirits have their eye on Monno? No, the spirit here is not an evil one. Rather a kind spirit. I think. Mondo, did the spirit warn you about anything? A warning? What the hell are you talking about? Watch your mouth, young man. Have you no respect for women? Or my powers? <sighs> Look, sorry if I was short with you. Work always comes first with me. Oh, well, forget about it. Anyway, to conclude... Yes? Go on. Draw your own conclusions. This woman. Now there's a surprise. Mondo, this problem is centered on you. Because Mr. Mondo is staying here? This hotel. This island. They want you. That's all I know. Let's not go all the way to Crazy Town now, okay? You will have to decide if that's what I'm doing. I will. Sue, my work here is done. Thank you for everything. Sister, you're leaving? That's right. I'll be back once the photo is developed. Sister, who are you? Just an innocent bystander. Hello? Mr. Mondo, there isn't much time. Please come to the lobby immediately. Yeah, I'm on it. You still holding breakfast down there? Yes, although it is a little cold now. Suits me just fine. Very good. Please hurry. Please hurry. Mr. Mondo, have you solved the puzzle? I have no idea. Me either. Let's wait until sister gets back. Okay. Now then, to work. The manager needs to see me. Ahem. Sue. So, yes? I really need to go to work now, okay? I understand. Sue? So, yes? What are you waiting for? A tip. Ah. Mr. Mondo, please let me know if you need anything. For tips? We all need money. Don't we all? Mr. Mondo, scenery from this room is most impressive. From the veranda, you mean? Yes, please take a look. I mean, it's as impressive as it can get on DS graphics. Although there are some really impressive looking DS games, so I shouldn't be so harsh. Oh, it is pretty nice, Sue. Look, the plane's taken off. Oh no, I've got to find her. Someone will get eaten! I do have... an alligator! What is going on? I was supposed to leave. It's too real. And now I'm chasing down a crocodile. Or alligator. Or whatever. What the fuck? 
is going on. Alright, well, I'm going to end the episode here. We'll somehow continue this in the next one. Till then, this is the Gamer Girl, signing off. Bye-bye.